Hey there, Dr. Mamina here. If you're looking to understand how to unlock your skin's natural glow, improve your skin texture, and just even out your skin tone, you've come to the right place. Today, we're diving into chemical exfoliation and understanding the different types of exfoliants. I'll be breaking down everything you need to know about AHAs, BHAs, PHAs, and enzymes. So let's get started. Chemical exfoliants are a fundamental part of skincare, but I just wanna make sure that you know the difference between chemical and physical exfoliants before we really just get into it. Chemical exfoliants are the heavy lifters I would say in the exfoliation world. They're kind of like your secret weapon for skin that just looks fresh, just more even toned and glowing. They include acids like alpha hydroxy acids, beta hydroxy acids, poly hydroxy acids, and enzymes. These work by penetrating into your skin cells, breaking apart the bonds between your tired old skin cells, and then encouraging your skin to naturally shed them to reveal fresh new skin from underneath. This process promotes an increase in cell turnover, so this helps your skin look more youthful and radiant. And then physical exfoliants are simply what you can just physically feel on your skin. So think of things like cleansers, masks, scrubs that contain those small beads or have that gritty texture. They work by physically removing the dead skin cells from the surface, which can sometimes feel quite satisfying to use, I would say, but I'll be honest, they can be a bit harsh on the skin if they're not used carefully. The ultimate goal of exfoliation, whether it's chemical or physical, is to achieve brighter, more even toned and refreshed skin. As we age, our skin's natural cell turnover process becomes lazy and that can lead to just dullness and more uneven skin tone. We incorporate these exfoliants to give our skin that gentle nudge to behave more like a baby skin. You know, when they say like smooth like a baby's butt, it's because their skin's constantly renewing itself. So if you're dealing with dullness or uneven skin tone, or if you just want that youthful glow, I would seriously incorporate a chemical exfoliant into your routine. So let's get into different types of exfoliants to address your specific skin concerns. All right, let's get into chemical exfoliants, the good stuff. There are several types to choose from. There's alpha hydroxy acids, beta hydroxy, acids, polyhydroxy acids, and enzymes, and each have their own unique superpowers. So let's start with alpha hydroxy acids or AHAs. These are the most powerful and potent exfoliants when it comes to the different acids. AHAs include things like glycolic acid, lactic acid, mandelic acid, malic acid, and citric acid, and they help get rid of those stubborn, old, and dead skin cells. They kind of force your skin to regenerate new skin cells, and because they're smaller molecules, they actually penetrate deeper, making them an extremely effective way to also address fine lines and wrinkles by stimulating collagen production. Some alpha hydroxy acids I love are First Aid Beauty's Facial Radiance Peel Pads, Neostrata's Smooth Surface Glycolic Chemical Peel, the Olay Super Serum, or Exuviance's Radiance. Serum. And those are just a few AHAs I recommend. You can check out more of my favorites at the link in my description below. But now let's talk about another type of chemical exfoliant, BHAs. Okay, so meet the oil busters, the pore minimizers, and the acne fighters, known as beta hydroxy acids, which are typically the universal choice for an exfoliant in your routine because they are a little bit gentler than AHAs. Common BHAs are salicylic acids as well as lipohydroxy acids, and they can work by binding to the oil in your skin, making them a great treatment for you if you do have oily or acne prone skin. So along with decreasing excess oil production, BHAs can help treat and prevent mild to moderate acne such as blackheads and whiteheads. By lifting away dead skin cells and targeting areas with higher concentrations of oil, beta hydroxy acids help clear out your pores to provide clear, glowy complexion. A couple of BHAs I recommend are Paula's Choice, the Skin Perfecting 2% BHA Liquid Exfoliant, or La Roche-Posay's Epiclar Duo Plus Ultra Concentrated Serum. The Dr. Dennis Gross Alpha Beta Universal Peel has both AHAs and BHAs. These are great to include in your routine, but if you wanna check out other options, don't forget to click the link below. An additional thing to note for those of you with darker skin is that it's essential to avoid an exfoliant that's too strong because you wanna avoid irritation. So I recommend a beta hydroxy acid first or even a polyhydroxy acid. If you wanna use an alpha hydroxy acid, then start with a low strength acid. Among the AHAs, I do find lactic acid and mandelic acid to be friendlier. But let's talk about polyhydroxy acids. For the more sensitive skin types, polyhydroxy acids or PHAs are the gentle hydrators of the exfoliant family. They're like a sip of cool water for your skin. PHAs exfoliate by helping your skin shed those dead skin cells, but they do it in a way that's less likely to cause irritation. Unlike other exfoliants, PHAs work by forming a protective barrier on your skin's surface. So this allows them to exfoliate without causing excessive dryness or redness. If you're struggling with other exfoliants and your skin tends to be on the dry side, or you've experienced sensitivity with other exfoliants, PHAs might be the gentle solution that 
your skin has been looking for. Some PHAs I love are the Neostrata's PHA Renewal Pads, Neutrogena Skin Balancing Milky Cleanser with 2% PHA, or the Garnier's Micellar Skin Active Gentle Peeling Water with 1% PHA and glycolic acid. You can check them out in the link in the description. Okay, so now that we've covered AHAs, BHAs, and PHAs, there's an analogy I heard that will help you remember which is what. So I think of AHAs as like the high heels or stilettos of chemical exfoliants. They're like really small molecules, like skinny stilettos, which allows them to reach deep into your skin, but they have the potential to do more damage, like with peeling or irritation. Think about how the sharp skinny point of a stiletto can do more damage than like a flat heel. BHAs, on the other hand, are more like your trusty sneakers. These molecules are slightly larger. They also, I would say, have a better grip on oil. They're practical, like sneakers, and work well for daily wear. And then PHAs are the largest molecules. So think of them as though you're slipping into your favorite pair of soft, snug slippers. They're hydrating and nourishing, and they gently exfoliate. Okay, so when choosing your exfoliant, think about your skin needs, whether it's like a powerful fix or AHAs, an everyday essential, especially for oily or acne prone skin, like with BHAs, or a soothing self-care moment, PHAs, and hopefully this can kind of help you decide when to use it. Now let's talk about enzymes, these fruit powered exfoliants. Think of things like papaya, pineapple, apple, kiwi, pumpkin. They harness the power of natural fruit enzymes that break up the keratin and dead skin cells, helping them slough off faster. Enzymes are also very gentle and soothing to your skin with minimal irritation. You'll often find enzyme exfoliants in various skincare products like masks, cleansers, toners, and these are perfect to use on days when you just want to give your skin a little extra love without the potential harshness of other chemical exfoliants. So whether you're seeking a natural and soothing way to brighten your skin, reduce dullness, or simply enjoy a relaxing skincare ritual, don't underestimate the power of enzymes. Whichever type of chemical exfoliant you use, overall, they generally all have similar benefits. Just understanding your skin type and needs will help you determine which is the best exfoliant for you. When looking to incorporate chemical exfoliants into your skincare routine, remember that they can help remove dead skin cells and get rid of that dull look, leaving your skin looking more radiant and revitalized. It also improves your skin texture and evens out skin tone, reduces acne, unclogs pores, and stimulates collagen production, more so with AHAs, helping to just diminish the signs of aging. But with all types of skincare products, simply knowing what they do isn't enough. You have to make sure that you know how to use exfoliants safely, what products to use or don't use with them, as well as when in your routine to use them. So let's touch on that next. Incorporating chemical exfoliants into your skincare routine safely is all about balance. The right approach depends on several factors, including the type of exfoliant, its strength, your skin type, and even your skincare goals. PHAs and enzymes are generally your gentle friends. You can often use them daily, whether it's in the morning or at night. However, be cautious when pairing them with retinoids, especially if you're just starting out. It's something you can consider once your skin has adapted. For those with oily skin, BHAs can be used daily. They play well both in your morning and evening routines. Like PHAs and enzymes, it's just wise to introduce retinoids carefully if you do decide to use them together. Now, when it comes to AHAs, there's a bit more variability. AHA products can range in strength, so your approach should match that. If you're using a gentle glycolic acid solution with less than 5%, it's often safe for daily use, particularly if you have like normal skin. However, if you're using a stronger AHA, like one with 10% or more, it's best to limit it to once or twice a week. And remember, AHAs and retinoids on the same night, not really a great idea unless your skin does extremely well using either of them alone. And then for all these exfoliants, I generally recommend using them at night because they can potentially make your skin more sensitive to the sun. Also wanna make sure you keep your skin protected. Incorporating them as an early step in your skincare routine is typically what I recommend. They often come in the form of peel pads, serums, or toners. So start with clean skin, apply your chosen exfoliant, and then follow that with your typical skincare routine. Just be careful if you have retinoids. So I hope you found this video on chemical exfoliation helpful from understanding the different types to reaping the incredible benefits and incorporating them safely into your skincare routine. If you enjoyed this video and want to learn more about chemical exfoliants, be sure to download my free gift, my top five skincare favorites, or check out my recommended exfoliation products in the description below. And remember to hit that like button, share this video with your friends, and subscribe to my channel to start your holistic wellness journey for your mind, body, and skin. Thanks for watching.